different people have different dreams some some people want to buy a house some people want to go on a luxury uh, holiday destination but the means to achieve all these goals is to create wealth in the long term right but it's not as easy as it sounds hi everyone this is anugrah i am one of the co-founders at a small case where i had the investments product team and uh, today i'm here to tell you about how you can create wealth in long term in a very low risk and low cost manner uh, before we get started, just wanted to let you know that my team is available on the live chat. So please feel free to ask as many questions as you want. And uh, if at all due to some time constraint, we are not able to answer your questions, you can always reach out to us after the webinar over an email. So let's get started. In India, people have been investing into different asset classes. And the most common of these asset classes have been either they have been parking their money into fixed deposits or gold or, re or real estate uh, but equities have always been there but the adoption rate has not been very good right so let's look at these different asset classes whether they make sense or not look at their positives and negative and then decide what is the best way to create wealth in the long term so let's start with fixed deposit right so when we say that we want to create wealth in long term we mean that every single year you should be better off. You should be able to buy and consume more things compared to the last year. So are you able to do this by investing into fixed deposit? The clear answer is no. Uh, in India, fixed deposit rates have actually not been able to beat even the inflation rate. What do we mean by that is that every year the prices of uh, things that you're buying is increasing at a faster rate compared to the interest rate that has been offered by the banks on the fixed deposit uh, on the fixed deposit that you are doing with them so by actually investing in fixed deposit you are becoming poorer every year and on top of it if you probably lie in a 30 percent income tax uh, income tax bracket so a fixed deposit rate of seven percent actually turns out to be 4.9 percent right which like definitely is nowhere close to where the inflation rate has been in india over the last like two to three de decades now let's look at equities. So there are two ways in which uh, a retail investor can invest into stock markets. One is through direct, uh, directly investing into single stocks and the other approach is to invest via mutual funds. Right. So let's look at both of them. If you want to directly invest into stocks, all of us know that the stock market can be really, really very volatile. Right. And what if uh, due to some emergency you want to withdraw the funds and a stock market is at low and on top of it, Generally, most retail investors don't have the capacity, knowledge or the bandwidth to do all the research which is required to invest into single stocks. So that's completely out of the question, right? Now let's look at mutual funds. So even mutual funds are not a very good option because of the very high cost associated with the mutual funds. Right? Uh, most, of, most of the time, actually, the retail investors are not able to realize also the amount of money that they are paying to the mutual fund company. All the mutual funds have this... Uh, thing called expense ratio. It is basically the amount that you are giving to the mutual fund company on an yearly basis, on a, on a very regular basis, which uh, for managing your money. Now, generally, this amount is around 2.5% of the total money that you are parking with the mutual fund company. So, for example, if you are investing 100 rupees uh, with a mutual fund company and the expense ratio is 2.5%, and let's say, the mutual fund is not able to generate any return over the next one year right your net worth will be less by 2.5 rupees that is you at the end of the one year you'll have 97.5 rupees right and you'll not even realize it because you just see that your investment has gone down by 2.5 rupees there is no explicit check or explicit transfer that you're making to the mutual fund company for expense ratio uh, if this case was something where let's say your investment goes from 100 rupees to 105 rupees the mutual fund company will show you that the NAV of your mutual fund now has become 102.5. So you will actually see that or you will actually think that you have generated 2.5% return but in all real terms you have actually made 5%. The 2.5% got deducted from your net worth and has been uh, moved to the mutual fund company without even you realizing that that's the amount that you have paid. Right? Now uh, if you want to like consider a very long term example and if you start investing a sum of around 10,000 rupees on a monthly basis, which is, uh, which is what people call systematic investment plan over the next 10 years. And let's say your mutual fund company gives you a return of around 10%. 
so you would actually end up paying around 2.6 lakh rupees as the uh, in the form of fees for the expense ratio without any promise of any returns from the mutual fund company now even the direct mutual funds are not like better off there the expense ratio is around 1.5% and in the same case you might actually end up paying around 1.5 to 1.6 lakh rupees as as the expense ratio fee again to the mutual fund company so mutual funds are actually very costly affair right so that's not also a very good uh, asset class or an investment option that a retail investor should pursue right now let's look at the next asset class which we uh, as we mentioned earlier is basically gold and real estate now both gold and real estates have different problems right uh, traditionally people have been investing a lot of money in gold in india but all of us know that handling physical gold is really really very difficult now real estate comes with its own problems right uh, there is land mafia then there are different laws that you need to take care for now even the prices have st stopped appreciating so these alternative investment asset classes also come with different sorts of problem altogether okay so all the three asset classes that we uh, talked about be it fixed income which is not actually able to beat the inflation in the first place be it equities in the form of stocks which is very difficult to do the research and the mutual fund which is very costly and gold or real estate which are the alternative investment classes have a lot of problems with them okay so now let's look at what is the solution how you should go about creating a a uh, long term portfolio for yourself so the answer is actually very simple it is to invest across asset classes you remember the saying that united we stand and divided we fall that's actually very true for asset classes an individual asset class might not make sense but when you invest in all of them together this suddenly starts making sense and there are a lot of benefits of investing across asset classes so let's look at each asset class benefits one by one and then see how we can capture all of these benefits in the solution that we are going to propose let's start with equities right now uh, when we were talking about what are the problems of investing into fixed income we discussed that it is not even actually beating the inflation right but equity as an asset class has time and again proved like proved that it is able to generate inflation beating returns so by investing into equities you are at least ensuring that every year you are able to buy more of goods and services which was not the case uh, for the fixed income as we discussed last time right now you can see in the chart also that how historically equity has outperformed or has actually beaten inflation so in order to generate wealth in long term it becomes very important to have equity as one of the component of your portfolios at the same time equity is equity as an asset class has Uh, beaten all the other asset classes it has generated more returns than fixed income it has generated more returns than gold it has generated more returns than real estate right so it is very essential to have it as one of the components of your portfolio but whether your portfolio should be heavily considered into equities or not definitely not why we will get to know when we talk about the benefits of gold now let's talk about gold gold is a very good wealth protector but not a wealth builder now at the same time uh, it becomes a very good component to have along with equities in your portfolio okay now all of us know that equities can be very volatile and it becomes very problematic when we want to withdraw our investment and the stock market is at low right now if you have a portfolio where you have gold as well as equity the gold provides cushion to the equity equity market fluctuations right so for example as you can see on your screen that from november 2010 to around uh, august 2011 equity market was actually down by somewhere around 23% but in the same period gold actually gave you a return of 32% so if you had both the components in your portfolio net net you would have been up right so this is how gold actually protects your wealth whenever there are fluctuations in the stock market now let's talk about fixed income as uh, as we mentioned when we were talking about fixed income last time that is not even generating inflation beating return so there is not much upside of investing into fixed income the only fact is that your wealth is only increasing every time it might not increase uh, by a component which is required to offset the general increase in price levels around you but at least it's not going down that's the benefit of fixed income so now we have discussed in detail about all the different asset classes this is fixed income equities and gold we have looked we have looked at all the problems of each of these asset classes 
as well as we have looked at the benefits of these asset classes. Now, as I mentioned earlier also, the perfect solution to build a long-term portfolio or to generate wealth in long term is to combine these asset classes and invest in all of them together. And when you are doing it, the objective is to do away or move away from the problems of asset classes and capture the benefits of all of these asset classes. And this is what is actually happening in all weather is small case. Now, all weather investing is a concept which helps you build a long term portfolio or generate wealth in long term by investing across these asset classes that is equities, fixed income and gold together in one single portfolio. And how do we do it? We are doing it through ETFs. So before we go into more details, let's first understand what are ETFs. ETFs are exchange traded funds. It means that you can buy and sell them just like you buy and sell stocks. The way you buy a Reliance or an Infosys stock through your broker, in the similar fashion, you will be able to buy all the ETFs which are listed on the exchange. Right? Now, what is the meaning of an ETF and what do you get by investing in an ETF? So every ETF is benchmarked or is dependent on one particular asset class or a security. Now, for example, if you buy and invest into Nifty ETF, it is going to give you the returns that is generated by Nifty. So let's say you invest 100 rupees in a Nifty ETF. Okay. And in next one year, Nifty gives you a return of 10%. So your ETF would also have given you a return of very close to 10%. If you would have invested into a Sensex ETF and Sensex was up by 10%, it will give you again 10% return at the end of the year. Now, there are different ETFs which are listed on exchange. There are ETFs on gold, there are ETFs on fixed income. So, just like uh, we talked about Nifty ETF and Sensex ETFs, there are gold ETFs also. So, if in one year gold gives you a return of minus 2%, the gold ETF is also going to give you a return of very close to minus 2%. So this is how you can buy and sell ETFs through your broker on the exchange and what do you get by investing into them. So you might have actually seen that there are gold mutual funds also available or nifty mutual funds like basically mutual funds investing into these asset classes. So why are we picking ETFs over these mutual funds? The most obvious answer is that ETFs are very low cost compared to these mutual funds. So if uh, equity mutual fund is charging you an expense ratio of around 2.5%, generally a nifty ETF will have an expense ratio of around 0.1%. So that's the difference in the fee that they have. Right? And there are also a lot of other benefits of investing into ETFs compared to mutual funds. They are more liquid in nature. You can invest them at any given instant when the markets are open. You can withdraw at any given instant instead of having just one end of day NAV value in case of mutual funds. Right? So this is how ETFs makes much more sense compared to mutual fund when you want to invest into broader asset classes. Okay. So before we move any further, what we have established at this point is that the best way to create a long term portfolio is to invest across asset classes. These are equities, gold and fixed income. The objective is to capture the benefit of each of these asset classes. That is equity gives you very good returns in long term but it is very volatile so we add gold, gold into the portfolio so that it provides a cushion as well as we always have fixed income or some component parked into fixed income which keeps on generating positive returns for you okay so let's get into more details of how all weather investing has performed over the years now let's look at the historical performance of all weather investing strategy we have done comprehensive backtesting uh, over the last 11 years to reduce whether we are able to outperform the market as well as reduce the volatility that we just talked about right so let's directly look at the numbers on your screen you can see the historical performance of last 11 years of the all weather investing compared versus the nifty which is the broader market index right in the last 11 years this small case has given an approximate return of around 223 percent now compared to nifty which generated a performance of around 164%. Now, this is the power of all weather investing. Right? It won't give you blockbuster returns, but it will always help you build wealth steadily and smoothly over the long terms. Now, also on the graph, you see different ranges that we have marked. Now, these are the ranges where market has not performed very well. That is when the markets crashed, right? Now, let's look at these ranges one by one and see what happened to the performance of all weather small keys. Now, if you look at the range from Feb 2015, 
to Feb 2016, Nifty fell by almost 21%. Now, during the same period, all weather small case only fell by 3%. Now, if you look at a, a range from October 2010 to December 2011, Nifty was down by 23%. Now, in this time, AWI actually rose by 1%. So, this is how you are able to fight against the market volatility. As we mentioned that equity is a very good asset class to have in your portfolio in the long term, but gold is very necessary to provide you the cushion. Now, this is the perfect example of how it is happening in real life. When the Nifty crashed, the gold component provided you the cushion and your strategy was stable. So this is how you see that all weather is small case helps you build wealth in long term okay, and actually outperforms the equity as an asset class also. Now let's look at what are the different advantages of investing into an all weather small case. The first and most obvious advantage is that you are not going to lose your sleep over the market fluctuations. Nifty can go down, Nifty can go up, but your wealth will always be protected. Why? Because you are diversified across asset classes. The next advantage is that it is built of low cost exchange traded funds. Now, as I explained earlier, exchange traded funds have a very low expense ratio compared to mutual funds. That's why the total amount of money that you are paying as an expense fee is also reduced by a lot if you are investing via all weather small case. The next advantage is that it handsomely beats inflation, right? As we have spoken uh, at multiple instances now that it is very important to always ensure that you are beating inflation so that you are becoming wealthier every year. And as you can see in the performance of all weather is small case, in long term, it very easily beats the inflation rate and helps you become rich. Right. And the last and the very important advantage of choosing an all weather is small case is that there are intelligent algorithms running all the time to ensure that your money is parked in the right asset class at the right time. How do we do this? Every quarter a small case gets rebalanced. That is, we rerun our algorithms to decide what is the right mix, asset class mix for the next quarter. When I say asset class mix, it means that what should be the amount of money that should be going into each asset class. So if you are investing rupees 100 in an all-weather small case, out of this 100, whether the 30 should go into equity, 50 should go into fixed income or gold, things like this is called asset mix. So every quarter we send out a rebalance update which basically ensures that your all weather small case is always aligned with our algorithms. So just a quick summary, uh, basically we have looked at all the different asset classes. We identified that equities is a very good asset class but it is very volatile. Gold is sort of a wealth protector. Fixed income is not even beating inflation, but then we realize that if we combine all of them together in one single portfolio, which we called as all weather in small case, we are able to capture the benefit of all of these one. That is equity helps us generate wealth in long term. Whenever it falls, gold provides us the cushion and fixed income is always working for you. That's why we say that it is a, in true sense, it is a recession proof way of building long term portfolio. So before we conclude, let's talk about the fees associated with investing in all weather is small case. It's absolutely free to buy and free to sell. We are very sure that it will help you generate wealth in long term. That's why we want you to try it for free. Come on to our platform uh, without any fees. You can try out the product only when you commit or when you start liking the products. We charge a very nominal fee of rupees 50 per order. That's when when you decide to invest more. For example, if you decide that you want to invest 1 lakh rupees in all weather in uh, all weather is small case and you held it for next 10 years, it's completely free, no charges at all. But when you like the product and let's say you decide to double down, you've invested 1 lakh rupees, now you want to invest one more uh, lakh rupees in the small case, that's when we'll charge a nominal fee of rupees 50. So free to buy, free to sell, uh, small fee of rupees 50 per order, that whenever you commit. Now, before we conclude, just want to say that it's very hard actually to build wealth in long term. It's not as easy as things sound, but we are here to solve this problem for you. The best way to go about is to diversify across asset classes and the most simple solution which you can apply yourself in just two easy clicks is to start your investment journey with all weather small case. I hope all your questions would have been answered in the live chat, but just in case you still have some more questions. 
please feel free to write us at support at the rate small case dot com and we'll be more than happy to help you. We have actually lined up a series of webinars for you to help you understand how you can create a long term portfolio with how all with the investing fits in your long term portfolio. What are the other options available to you? This is the first webinar in the series. We have three more webinars coming for you. You can check out the dates uh, of those webinars on your screens. And in any case, if you have any questions, you can always reach out to us on the support. And all the details are also available on our website. Just go to smallcase.com and I'm sure you'll be able to find all the solutions.